Hi, this video is a presentation on Generic JDBC Connection, a new feature in Oracle Analytics Cloud. Generic JDBC Connection allows you to bring your own JDBC driver to connect to a data source for any reason. Uh, could be the data source version, or you want to leverage a different vendor driver that you have licensed for. So to get started, first you need to set up Data Gateway in OAC. The install and setup of the Data Gateway is not part of this demonstration. After login to OAC, go to console, remote data connectivity, and see that the data gateway agent is created and is enabled. We next navigate to the data gateway interface and test the connection. So we are all set to use the data gateway. The data gateway for my instance is set up in Linux environment, so I'll quickly show the status from the Linux environment. As a last step, we need to place the JDBC driver under domain JDBase lib ext path. For this demonstration, I'm using PostgreSQL JDBC driver. If you set up the data gateway in a Windows or Mac platform, then JDBC driver needs to be included in the paths as mentioned here. After placing the jar file, you will have to restart the JT or close the application and uh, restart the data gateway application after restart you can run a query uh, from the data gateway to confirm that the data gateway is able to find the driver so we are all set to use the generic jdbc connection now next we can start from the oac home page click on create connection here we find our new jdbc icon if you do not see this icon then please ensure data gateway agent is configured in the connection dialog, enter the connection name, description, connection string as URL, driver class, username and password. You will notice that remote data connectivity is selected as default and is read only. This means generic JDBC connection will always be routed via the data gateway. You can now create a data set using the connection that we just created. Here we can create a multi-table data set with joins. We can select orders, order details, products, categories, and customers. We can select each table and make edits. As in this case, uh, we are marking columns as measure. Similarly, we change the columns as measure for products. We can even use SQL view to modify individual tables. Once all the edits are completed, we can save the data set. We can now create a project from this data set. Explore the data fields for each entity and then start creating visualization. All OAC data visualization capabilities are available to this data set. So this will open up OAC for many more data sources that you may be waiting for. That's all in this demo. Thank you.